Myriad 5 Playout comes with 12 preset layouts, enabling you, with a click of the mouse, to rearrange tiles on a single or multiple monitor setup, dependent on the task you wish to accomplish or focus on. To get to them, go to the Layout menu and click with the left mouse button on the layout that you wish to use. Let's go through some of the layouts so you can get an idea of how they can change your view and surface some specific tiles, enabling you to get the job done faster. The beauty of the layouts are that you are not stuck with just the default ones we have shipped with Myriad 5 Playout. You can create your own, and to do so, we suggest you use one of the existing ones and modify that. The layouts are all stored in .xml format, and you will find them here. Sometimes the program data folder will not be visible on your system as this is a hidden folder. So in the view options of your Explorer window, you need to check to see hidden folders or files. Although you can edit these files in Notepad, for example, we suggest that you use an XML editor as it presents the information in a much clearer way. Here I'm using the free Notepad++. Let's open up the default layout file. Now, it can look pretty scary, but don't worry, as if you mess it up, I'll show you how to revert this file back to the default settings as if you've never touched it at all later on in this tutorial. Right, at the top of the file is the title of the layout, as it will appear in Myriad 5 Playout. Let's just put in new at the end so that we know it's worked. Now for the main layout of the tiles. The tiles are items like the media wall, favourites and library, and these can be shown in tabs. We are looking at a layout here designed for a single monitor. You'll see here, W1 colon screen index equals zero. Zero actually means the first screen, and one would mean the second screen. Confusing, but true. If you think of each monitor, as being cut up into 12 columns and 12 rows, as is stated at the top here in the total rows and total columns settings. We are setting the position of the tab starting from row 0 and column 0, and spanning 10 rows down and 6 columns across. It then shows which tiles you would like within that tab, and you can see lower down it mentions the dashboard tile within the tab which starts from row 0 but column 6 as we want it on the right hand side of the monitor and it spans 3 rows, 6 columns. So let's do something pretty basic and rearrange the order of the tiles here so that the library is on the top instead of at the bottom. So we'll select the library tile and we'll just cut it, Control x and we'll paste it, Control v on the top of the list of tiles. And then we'll go and save the file. Back to Myriad 5 Playout and the Layout menu, and what we need to do is refresh the Layouts list, and we now have our new default layout-new layout. If we select that, you can now see that Library is the top tile rather than Media. Now we could have renamed the XML file to default new.xml, for example, if we wanted to keep it, but we won't on this occasion. So let's show you how to reinstall a default layout and revert this back to normal as if we've never fiddled. Go to the layout menu and down to install a default layout. Choose the one you wish to revert to or reinstall, click it and agree to overwrite the file. Once this is done, your layout is returned to the default view and media and the media wall is back to the topmost tile. Now there is further documentation on layouts on the Broadcast Radio website under the support area for Myriad 5 Playout. So I do suggest you take a look at that and uh, have a little play.